Welcome to BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT. Today we're discussing the subject of digital literacy. A recent report estimated that there are around 16 million people aged 15 and over who have only basic, if no, online skills. And digital literacy is being campaigned for by organisations with various perspectives. To bring those things together, the BCS Digital Literacy for Life programme is aiming to give a consistent message uh, to government and indeed any interested party on this matter. And to discuss those issues today as a launch really uh, for this programme, we have with us Tina George from Shoreline. Welcome Tina. Thank you. Uh, we have Spencer Ayres from the Prince's Trust. Welcome. Hello Spencer. We have uh, Josie Fraser from Leicester City Council. Hello. Hello. And we have uh, Kevin Campbell-Wright from NIACE. Hello. So welcome folks. Let's start off with an easy one. Why is digital literacy so important? I'm an employer and I like to bring on young people into our organisation so we're quite active in taking on apprentices and what's important for me from an employer's perspective is that those young children or young adults rather that come into our organisation do have a level of digital literacy that makes them competent and confident in the work environment. Okay. Now, um, the first question we have uh, down here for more specific um, discussion is employability. So, for youngsters, we, we tend to assume that uh, they know a lot about their Game Boys and PS3s, and I'm already behind the times there, aren't I? It's a, it's a very old uh, platform. Uh, but how does digital literacy affect their employability, even from 16 or 18, right in, in their early years of getting work? I think something that the Prince's Trust does is what we try and do is take young people that are perhaps a distance away from being employed. We're often working with uh, young people that are long-term unemployed, NEETs, and uh, we put on a programmes to try and um, get them much closer to that job market. And I see digital literacy as an incredibly important part of it. So we found in a study recently that one in 10 of the young people that we work with don't f have the confidence to fill, on, fill out um, job applications online. And that's dreadful if that's the first hurdle that they're coming across, mm. meaning they haven't got the confidence or the ability possibly to fill out online job applications. There's, there's very little chance really of them getting into those, employed, into those jobs that they need. They, I think what you said actually a minute ago about the confidence yes. is so important. Yes. Some people do have skills and I think it's, it's wrong this whole uh, digital natives argument is sometimes flawed because some people do have skills but they're not necessarily used in the right way. Mm. And so it's that really crucial part of employability which is so important and that we do at the Printers Trust. So I'd reiterate that point. I think um, there's a lot of conversations and a lot of assumptions made about young people's technical skills. Mm. And I think the term digital native has become quite popular, but what it does is really gloss over what the reality of the situation is for young people today. Many young people don't have access to devices, access to people who can support them in constructive ways. And, a, and a, a, a huge amount of young people do have access, but um, the kinds of things that they're doing are not necessarily the kinds of things that will really support them in education where they are now, in going on to further and higher education, and in terms of employability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's not just young people as well. You know, the, a number of adults who are not using um, technology directly are actually using it through um, a proxy user, and quite often that is a young person or one of their children. And in those situations, they assume that the young person has the skills to guide them, and they may do in getting them to set up a social media account. But if they're filling in benefit forms or these governmental um, interactions, which are becoming more common, then that's going to be a lot more yeah. important that they have those skills. And even when they've come on a very mainstream route, I was talking to a career advisor at the University of Leeds the other day, and she was saying that the digital skills of adults in HE are very good, but their skills around job searching, their skills around promoting themselves on social media, their digital footprint, all those kind of things, are actually quite weak in some cases, and they're having to give a lot of advice on that. So I think it's across the board, and it's across the board in terms of whether they've come up the mainstream educational route, whether they're going in vocational education, whether they're um, coming at it completely afresh. Wherever they've come from, I think there's, there's issues with digital literacy that need to be addressed. I think what this discussion is picking up on already is that it's a very, very mixed picture mm. across all age groups and across all ranges. 
I think um, you, society and culture in the UK has changed massively because of the impact of mobile gaming and internet-based technologies and how the kinds of things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, so checking our Twitter stream or our email before we even get out of bed in the mornings, posting pictures of our um, baby scans, you know, <laughs> meeting people, um, all kinds of things that we do now that are very, very different mm. from the way that society functioned up until very, very recently. And, in, in, and as a consequence of that, the few people who aren't well equipped to have access in terms of uh, connectivity devices and confidence massively and skills are really, really even more disadvantaged by the mainstreaming of technologies and technological engagement. So for me, the education issue, obviously, because that's the area that I work in at the moment and I'm really wanting to address, is really critical. Employment is obviously a really important area, but social, the social life of the UK is very, very firmly engaged in the use of technology. So it's not just an area for employers or for educators, it's also a citizenship mm. issue. Mm.